Zeus. Real name, Zeus. Occupation, supreme monarch of Olympus. Identity, publicly known but generally believed to be a fictional character. Legal status, citizen of Olympus. Former aliases, Jupiter, Jove, names given him in ancient Rome. Place of birth, Mount Lyceum, Arcadia, in what is now Greece. Marital status, married. Known relatives, Uranos, grandfather, deceased. Gaia, grandmother. Cronus, or Saturn, father. Rhea, mother. Hera, wife and sister. Neptune, or Poseidon, brother. Pluto, brother. Demeter, sister. Hestia, sister. Apollo, son by Leto. Ares, son by Hera. Artemis, daughter by Leto. Athena, daughter by Metis. Dionysius, son by Semele. Hebe, daughter by Hera. Helen of Troy, daughter by Leda, deceased. Hephaestus, son by Hera. Hercules, son by Alcmena. Hermes, son by Maya. Venus, or Aphrodite, daughter by Dione. Group affiliation, Gods of Olympus. Base of operations, Olympus. First appearance, Thor Annual Number 1. Origin. Zeus is the son of the Titans Cronus and Rhea, who were the children of the sky god Uranus and the elder goddess Gaia, or Mother Earth. Cronus rose to power in the dimension adjacent to Earth, which came to be called Olympus, when he fatally wounded his father, Uranus. The dying Uranus prophesied that Cronus would likewise be overthrown by one of his own children. As a result, upon the birth of each of Cronus's children, Cronus had the infant imprisoned in Tartarus, the most dismal section of the Olympian underworld now known as Hades. Appalled, the children's mother, Rhea, concealed her sixth pregnancy from him and secretly gave birth to Zeus on Mount Lyceum in Arcadia, an area of the land now known as Greece. Rhea gave the infant Zeus to the safekeeping of Gaia, who hid the baby in the cave of Dicte on Aegean Hill on the Isle of Crete, where he was tended by various minor goddesses. Zeus grew to adulthood among the shepherds of Mount Ida, Crete, and then set about taking revenge on Cronus. Zeus went down to Tartarus and freed his siblings, all now grown to adulthood, as well as the three one-eyed giants called Cyclopes and the three hundred-handed giants called Hecatonchires, all six of whom Cronus had imprisoned there for fear they would help overthrow him. The grateful Cyclopes taught Zeus how to wield his energy-manipulating powers in battle. Zeus and his allies fought a ten-year war with the Titans, which ended with Zeus imprisoning most of the male Titans in Tartarus. Zeus thus became supreme ruler of the Olympian dimension. Zeus married the goddess Hera, but he engaged in many relationships with goddesses and with mortal women, both before and during the heroic age of ancient Greece. Some of his children were gods, a number of whom joined the Olympian pantheon. See, no relatives. Others were humans, such as Helen of Troy. After the end of the Hyborian Age, as the civilization of ancient Greece began to rise, Zeus decided to make the presence of the Olympian gods known to the Greeks so that they would worship them. Zeus learned that the principal nexus between the Olympian dimension and Greece lay atop Greece's Mount Olympus, near Olympia, the principal city of the Eternals. See, Eternals. Zeus named his own dimension after Mount Olympus after making this discovery. Zeus and his daughter Athena, goddess of wisdom, held a meeting with Zurus, the leader of the Eternals, and his daughter Zura. Noticing the marked physical resemblance between Zeus and Zurus, and between Zura and herself, Athena suggested that the Olympian gods and the Eternals form an alliance in which the Eternals would act as the gods' representatives on Earth. Both parties enthusiastically agreed, and Zura took her current name of Thena to signify the sealing of the pact. See, Thena. 
However, over the many years, such Eternals as Zurus, Athena, Valken, Makari, Hero, and Helios came to be thought by many humans to be not representatives of the Olympian gods, but the gods themselves. This led to a growing resentment by the gods towards the Eternals, which recently erupted into war, but is now ended. When Christianity replaced the worship of the Olympian gods in the Roman Empire, Zeus decided that the time had come for the Olympian gods to break most of their ties with Earth. The only exception was that Neptune, or Poseidon, was still allowed to watch over his worshippers in undersea Atlantis. Pluto, god of the dead, was chief among those who deplored Zeus's decree. He has made several recent challenges to Zeus's supremacy. See, Pluto. Nevertheless, Zeus still retains an affection for and interest in the people of Earth. A millennium ago, his son Hercules led a band of soldiers he had transported from ancient Greece through time to battle Norsemen who were under the protection of the Asgardian god Thor. This led to war between the Asgardians and Olympians. Zeus secretly met with Odin, ruler of the Asgardians, and the two gods not only put an end to the war, but also formed an alliance to defend Earth from the Celestials. See, Celestials. Zeus and Odin remain allies today. Height, 6 feet 7 inches. Weight, 560 pounds. Eyes, blue. Hair, red. Powers. Zeus is the most powerful of all the Olympian gods. His physical strength surpasses that of all the Olympian gods except for that of his son, Hercules. Zeus can lift, press, 90 tons without the use of any of his other powers. Like all Olympians, he is immortal. He has not aged since reaching adulthood, and he is unable to die by any conventional means. If wounded, his godly life force would enable him to recover in minutes. It would take an injury of such magnitude that it dispersed a major portion of his bodily molecules to cause him death. Even then, it may be possible for a god of equal power, such as Odin, or for a number of Olympian gods working together, to revive him. Zeus's energy-wielding abilities surpass those of any other Olympian god. His ability to generate tremendous amounts of electrical energy in the form of lightning bolts from his hands has become his trademark. Zeus can generate and manipulate other forms of energy as well. Only a small number of Zeus's powers have as yet been depicted. Among these are his ability to create interdimensional apertures through which he can transport himself and even the entire Olympian army, and his ability to project his image, voice, and energy bolts from the Olympian dimension into that of Earth. Zeus can change his own shape into that of other humanoid beings, as when he impersonated Amphitryon, the husband of Hercules' mother Alcmena, see Hercules, of animals or even of objects. Zeus also has limited precognitive abilities and, in ancient times, maintained an oracle at Dodona. These abilities enabled Zeus, at the time of the Trojan War, to remember the Asgard-Olympus War, which occurred centuries afterwards.